I have to bring this up, and, and since the, the, the door was opened, uh, you know, I, I'm deeply concerned about the fact that there were FEC reports brought up. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, you acknowledge that you don't know where those came from. Uh, you said that you have no affiliation with those, uh, that PAC, that super PAC, I believe. Um, the ranking member said she was deeply concerned um, about the affiliation. And we seem to have a guilty by association theme going on here. And so I just have to state for the record that I myself am deeply concerned about the affiliation of the convicted sex trafficker, Jeffrey Epstein, of which the ranking member took campaign donation money from. So I think that's the beauty of the First Amendment is that we have a right to say what we want to say, but we also have the right to be offended. So I just wanted to point that out, you know, glass houses and all. Our Democrat colleague, Mr. Lynch, opened up the door of what does the impact of the continued narrative of weaponization have on the general public? And I think that's really important because what we have seen in the last couple of weeks is irrefutable evidence of the fact that the FBI has not only been systematically working to censor American speech, but they have been facilitating it, and in some cases at the behest of foreign governments. A weaponization report proved that there was a direct connection between the Ukrainian SBU in which that intelligence service was sending spreadsheets of thousands of posts in some cases, posts that were belonging to the United States State Department. And because we know that the Ukrainian SBU is rife with double agents, the FBI wasn't even vetting the posts. They were simply sending them direct to the social media companies saying, please take these down. So now we have an FBI that is not just saying that they're going to fight foreign interference, they're facilitating it at one point even suggesting that they put forward a 24-7 channel where the FBI takes requests from a foreign government and filters it right to the social media company to have those posts taken down. And it was across the board, anti-Ukraine, pro-Ukraine. That right there proves that they weren't vetting the posts. That's a problem. We've established clearly with hard evidence that there is in fact a weaponization of the federal government against the American people and every single day that we do not acknowledge it is a bad day in America. The pillars of our constitutional republic, not democracy, are being taken down bit by bit because the press is being told they can't ask the tough questions. Ms. Morris, you have probably received threats. You have been censored. You have been silenced. Mr. Sauer, you have been before us many times, and you have expressed the pushback, the threats that you have received. Mr. Kennedy, I can't imagine what you receive on a daily basis from both the left and the right. So if you haven't seen the Sound of Freedom movie featuring Jim Caviezel about Tim Ballard's life, you got to go see it. We already know that Rolling Stone called it, um, like, what was it, a movie for dads with brain worms. Jezebel called it a fantasy. Other outlets called it QAnon. I saw this movie. It is none of those things. It's not even political if you're sane. It's the story of a man who worked for the Department of Homeland Security catching pedophiles, his journey into helping kids who were sex trafficked in Colombia and Honduras. I don't understand the problem, but I think the problem is if you admit that there's sex trafficking, you have to admit that the left wants to say that pedophiles you know, are minor attracted persons. That's what liberals are saying. They're starting to say things like, oh, there's no such thing as pedophilia. They're just attracted to minors. And children can consent, so this isn't a crime. And just like gender is a construct, age is a construct. So as the left is trying to normalize pedophilia, the sound of freedom is trying to show you what's wrong with sex trafficking. That's the only thing I can think is that they want to normalize this behavior, whereas Sound of Freedom wants to show you how bad it is. That's the only thing I can think of. And these attacks from the left make absolutely no sense. No sense whatsoever. But that's what we're seeing here in liberal America. Maybe the other thing is, is like, because there's so much sex trafficking happening at the border, they don't want us to see this movie because then we're going to think about the border. Go see the movie. Go on their website. There's even ways if you can't afford to see the movie, you can get free tickets. 
it's the best movie you'll see. Uh, it's the best movie I've seen in a really long time. It's powerful. It's impactful. It makes you feel alive and pride in our country and makes you want to act to help children in this country and beyond. Marjorie Taylor Greene, always fire.